You know, there's that sense of kind of being uh, invaded, and, and you know, this is a very quiet block. Um, so just to have something like that happen, um, you know, it just was really uh, disconcerting. Riverdale resident Richard Espinal says he was getting in his car last week when he noticed someone had gotten into my car. They had trashed everything inside. They stole a Christmas gift, and in another part of Riverdale, thieves also stole all the doors off a new Honda on Fieldston Road last week. You go out at night, nothing open and nobody's in the street. I've had my own cars broken into. They broke into my truck and uh, and my uh, Camry. It was just last week Adam Fisher caught a thief in action. I came out the door and stared him down and he got out immediately and started walking up this way. I was shocked that this guy would do it at 930 in the morning and uh, and he was so quick. That, that's what really surprised me. Councilman Andrew Cohen, who's lived here for 20 years, says he's even seen cars missing tires standing on cinder blocks. He believes it's a specific group of professionals. That there are uh, an army of ants coming and stealing every car. It's one crew uh, who's doing this, and they will get caught. This auto body shop treated one of the cars missing rims. The owner says Hondas are a target because rims can be used on models from any year. And that auto shop owner tells me that drivers can actually buy lock nuts like these to secure their wheels and rims and also deter vandals. Now, we also spoke with the NYPD about this rise in vandalism. They say they have stepped up patrols of marked and unmarked cars in the 50th precinct. And so far this year, they have made more than 40 arrests. We are live in the Riverdale section of the Bronx. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Lisa, thank you.